What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So I've been having the Galaxy Z Flip 5G for, for a few days now, and I want to kind of give you guys my thoughts about this device, having it only for a few days. It's a pretty interesting device. I really like it, but they do have a lot of cons with this device. So let me give you my thoughts about the Galaxy Z Flip 5G. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the Galaxy Z Flip 5G here. A, a long name, I'ma just call it the Z Flip for this video. I've been having it for a few days. Uh, I wanna give you guys some pros and cons about this device. Um, first thing I wanna say is that this is a eye-catching device. Uh, ever since I had it, I'm out there in the wild, in the grocery stores, uh, in public, and uh, this device has been a head turner. Every time I pull it out to kind of doing this here, playing music and kind of texting and stuff like that, a lot of people have been asking me questions. Wow, is that the Galaxy Z Flip? So people know about this phone for sure. So let's talk about the build quality, because a lot of people ask questions about how good the durability of this device. Now, in the box, you don't get a case. Shout out to Rinky. I got my Rinky case on here, the clear case, and it's King Supreme. So as far as the back part of the case, with a Rinky case on it, you're fine. Uh, because you have to protect the back of the device just in case it falls. So, uh, but this Rinky case, it protects the sides, it, it protects the back. It also has a lip to protect the camera array and also the lip display. So. I would advise anybody that buy this phone, please get a clear case. Don't get nothing to cover it up because you want to show the beauty of the device. So get a clear case uh, and put it on your phone. Let's talk, talk about the display. This phone comes with a uh, pre-installed screen protector. And you know what? I didn't look at this device and like, you know, pamper it. So I didn't do that. I just did with it normally. I use it normally. Uh, and as far as right now, we have it in a few days. Uh, it doesn't have any scratches on it, uh, but it does have a pre-installed screen protector on it. And that's probably a good thing because uh, if the screen protector go bad, I've seen online that you can get a screen protector for this device. Also, Samsung is going to uh, replace the screen if it becomes damaged for a very small price. So that's one of the things that you might want to consider when getting this device is that, yes, it is a very fragile device, but with a case on it and the screen protected on, on here, I think you'd be fine. And if you do drop it, if it's closed, I, you'll be fine. So uh, the durability on here is, is okay. Uh, I wouldn't have any issues if I dropped this phone while it being closed. Now, uh, it, the Rinky case does have a lip on it. So, and it also, the phone itself has a lip on it. So if it does fall like that, uh, you're a little protected. But again, this is a ultra thin glass, kind of plastic uh, display on here. So yes, you probably would damage it, but Samsung said they will take care of business with this device. Some of the unique features with this phone is that it does have the 865 plus processor, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. Um, you do have your fingerprint scan on the side, which is really fast. Also, you have Face ID. So I very seldom use the fingerprint scan here on the side. I always use Face ID. Face ID is very fast. I mean, it does not have a, a in-display fingerprint scanner, so that's something uh, that you have to take into account. Also, the speed of the device. Uh, it's a very fast phone, even though it's not 120 hertz, even though it's uh, a, a 1080p display, it's a very fast device. So when it comes down to uh, speed and functionality and everything with this device, I think you'd be fine. I think you'd be fine with the speed of this device. So I wouldn't worry about performance. This phone will perform very well, no matter what. Let's Let's talk about the display a little bit and I, I'm telling you I really like how the display is with this device wow look at that display now that's a 1080p display guys look at that that display is absolutely gorgeous uh, and this is a 4k video I'm playing so yes this this display is absolutely gorgeous so when it comes down to I don't think you're gonna have any issues with the display on here now the, as far as the speakers it does not have do speakers but it sounds very good so uh, if you weren't about if you're going to get a very immersed experience with this phone when it comes down to watching movies and stuff like that 
it, Samsung got you covered here. I think this is a very entertaining device. The display on here is absolutely gorgeous. And I like that you can flip it like this and you could get some added functionality out there, right? So yes, you could get it like that and kind of show you guys. And I mean, it, it works as advertised. So yes, I can scroll here and I can use uh, two apps at the same time uh, and uh, it works very well. I've been at my business all day for the last couple of days and I've been using it as my business device, you know, uh, using it uh, primarily for all my business needs, uh, doing my payroll, uh, my Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that. And turn it like this or use it like this or use it for decks it works as advertised it works great so i don't have any issues when it comes down to functionality speed performance and everything in between now let's talk about some of the cons with this device we have it for a few days now a lot of people talk about asking the question about battery life i can protest to you that battery life on here is not that great I i'm just gonna call it how we see it look man i can max out about four hours of screen on time with this phone Standby time is fine. Four hours of screen on time. The first day I had this phone, I charged it all the way up to 100%, but I was playing with it heavy, playing games, doing all kinds of stuff with this device. I might have gotten two hours of screen on time with this phone. But at this kind of settled a little bit, I was I was averaging the last couple of days for about four hours of screen on time. And right now, I'm, a, I'm about 46% battery life, and I've been kind of using it off and on all day. And um, I've been kind of having a almost max brightness, but almost in between, cause I want to kind of tone it down a little bit. And I want to show you guys real quick on the battery usage here with this device. And right now I charge it up early this morning. I took it off the charger by 11 o'clock. Uh, and right now I got about three, three hours and 27 minutes of screen on time. And I'm at about 46% uh, battery life. So I could probably get about five hours today and look like it's increasing day by day. But the first couple of days I was getting like two hours screen on time, then four hours screen on time. And today it looked like I could max out about five hours screen on time. And that's it guys. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. The, the, the battery life on here, especially with 5G and everything in between, is not that great. It's, it's not going to be the Galaxy Note uh, type of quality of battery life. Uh, you definitely got fast charging on here, but that is one of the huge Achilles heels with this device. So far, I maybe have to report back to you, uh, you know, in a future video as I review this device. So let's talk about these cameras. I took a couple of shots. Uh, here I have a complete full camera review coming for this device. So stay tuned for that But let me show you a couple of shots that I took with this phone. It was really good I really like the the, the cameras here um, With this device it does have uh, uh, some unique features on here uh, You got your video you do have your pro uh, you got your live focus you do have your uh, live video focus uh, you do have your pro video a uh, pro pro mode on this device is you know, I'm gonna have to test it out, but Pro Mode, remember Samsung took Pro Mode away, they bought it back. So I'm glad to see Pro Mode here. You got your uh, array of functionality here with this device. But let's talk about the front-facing camera. And I wanna show you a real quick clip of the front-facing camera with this device. So check this out. All right, so this is the front-facing camera of the Galaxy Z Flip. It does have some functionality that I like about it. As I got the phone flipped, uh, y'all guys can see that uh, if I got my overhead camera looking down and y'all guys can see that I got it flipped up towards me. Now you can change the aspect ratio to wide and uh, portrait if you want it, which is really nice. So I can record an entire video just by having the Z flip up like this and it works really good. So you be the just for yourself. You let me know how the audio sound. You let me know how everything sound with the Z flip in it. To me, I'm looking at it and it looks absolutely amazing. I really like this phone. I love the phone fact i love the display i love everything about this phone right now it does have some kinds with this phone so far battery life battery life is not that great on here i i i got further tested to do maybe it will get better later on now i did receive some updates with this device when i uh after about a day or so so it was a huge update it's all up to date it does have august security patch a uh, one ui 2.5 and everything in between it has some bug fixes and stuff like that i got a lot of content coming out with this device i'm gonna pick it apart i'm gonna be real about it I'm just gonna be real about it you know this is a couple of days in and just kind of give you guys my thoughts about it and it is what it is right this is eric the tech preacher 
from Easy Computer Solutions. Oh man, that's this is this is dope. I love this phone, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, but they got some cons with it. Got some cons. We go talk about it in a lot of my videos. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Leave your comment down below. Let's have a discussion about the Z Flip. Later.